Aspinall and Cullen. But when you're talking about two players who made the Grand Slam final, 100. they'll know a lot about each other, and they're playing half that format. First to eight, not first to 16. But 55. you make a good point about Aspinall. He has been in finals since his last ranking win, which was last year in beating Christoph Ratajski in a Players' Championship. But he's lost three finals since then. 77. One on the floor for Michael Smith after Nathan Aspinall put three in the same bed. His 11th, 180 of the tournament. Exactly the same tally now as that of his opponents. 90. Good start from Aspinall. And when you think about how his standard was at the start of his quarterfinal, he has picked himself 45. off the floor, scrapped a bit, and found some quality in the grit. Over to the 14s. 91. And on a double after 12 is always going to be a confidence-boosting start. 140. I think you require 40. Sending out a message to Bully Boy. Just one more mission on double 10. He spent a lot of time on double 10 this week, predominantly with success, but maybe that dart was thrown in expectation of hitting it. Now there's pressure on an awkward looking double five. You can say that again. A dozen maximums for the Bully Boy in this event. Will that one be rendered irrelevant? It Four. won't. It could be worth Five the first leg and a break of throw. The way of oh, the world champion. Leg, Just goes to show, doesn't it? He was miles behind. Second leg, Michael to throw first. Game on. And then he found his way to winning the leg. Good grit there from Bully Boy, who was looking for his sixth 60. European Tour title here. And, and his second in a couple of years because he won in the Netherlands last year. Speaking of six, it was six missed starts at double in that opening leg for Nathan Aspinall. It's a longer race, it's best of 15, first to eight. 140. But it can be difficult to come back from those kind of blows when he played so well to put himself in with a bid to break immediately. Well, Aspinall's looking to do something that is incredibly rare. I don't know who has completed all of this, but I'll tell you what, if he wins this final, I'm going to find out. He could have won on every level of PDC darts 100. if he wins this final. Development Tour won that, Challenge Tour won that, Pro Tour level won that, World Series won that, Major won that. The only thing it's missing is Euro Tour. Yeah, and you could see what it meant to him to get into the final when he beat Joe Cullen. He has been knocking on the door. Five semi-final defeats before that victory over the Yorkshireman. Now, the caveat to what I said about Nathan Aspinall is a contrast to Michael his Yorkshire opponent. He's won on every level apart from the challenge to him because he didn't need that system. 99. Yeah, two different career curves. Aspinall took a step back to take giant leaps forward, didn't he? And it's hope and inspiration for any darter who falls Michael off the tour. 40. But he's hoping Michael Smith fails to take out tops here. He's on the second line. And Michael that hope Smith has quickly evaporated. If you'd have said to me, maybe 36 hours ago, roughly, when Michael Smith was taking on Adam, on Adam Warner. Adam Warner had three darts to beat him that Michael would be 2-0 up in the final. I would have said, that's highly unlikely. But his performance against Gezi Price today, that was the performance of the weekend so far. Yeah, what about this performance? He'll be starting to produce something special. Oh, he likes nine dollars in finals now, doesn't he? Yeah, well, that's his most recent one. He actually hit the very first Euro Tour nine data back in 2012, Michael Smith, in the very first event. 81. He's been winning on the Euro Tour for nine years. 
first win in 2014. And when it comes to the finals, he was really good as a hit rate at the start, but went on this run of losing finals in many different countries. Well, you can see there the frustration. 100, Aspinall, 89. That suggests he felt he needed to take that because he thinks that Michael Smith will take this. Let's find out. Game he was right. But the one thing that's going wrong is that scoreboard, and I we'll have to believe to throw first. Game on. that the first leg has had a little bit of a say in that. Yeah, Nathan Aspinall had... Well, missed more darts at double in that opening leg than Michael Smith has had yet in the entire match. And he's 3 0 up, half a dozen squandered. 60. This is where you've got to give yourself a bit of a gut check and say to yourself, this is not best of 11. Michael's not at the halfway point. 140. Just try and keep in touch, get two behind. You can afford to be 4-1 down. You can 16. afford to be 5-2 down. But do not let Michael Smith front run and go absolutely batty 30. on that treble 20. Because if you give him space to breathe, he is one of the primary players in bageling stars in the world. But Nathan Aspinall is renowned as perhaps the most dogged darter on tour. He's just got fight in him, 59. hasn't he? Maybe it didn't show so much in that Grand Slam final defeat to Michael Smith, but it certainly showed at the Grand Prix against Michael Van Gerwen. You are absolutely correct. If I was going to put some dark players in the trenches, Nathan Aspinall would be my captain. Oh, he's doing it again. A pressure piler. And that one to leave him on double 17. He knows what he's doing there. Yep, getting the crowd involved. And making Nathan think. Does he make Nathan blink? It works in leg one, but that's the leg one for Nathan Aspel, and not just that, it's a break of throw. Hold your horses, Michael. He's coming for you. You can't beat a rot stopper. Especially when it's a break of throw. Those score lines that I said were doable. Things like 4-1 and 5-2. Here, dearly love 3-3. Three, three. Because that would turn this into a best of nine match. People really have had fun this weekend and into Easter Monday. It's been one of the loudest 16. European tour crowds I can remember. And one of the reasons for that is because there's it's been pretty much a sellout for all three days. 58. Yeah, it's been around 3,000 fans. It's been a, a real party atmosphere throughout. I think you're the odd one out if you're not wearing fancy dress in that audience. <laughs> Too true. 140. Even the referees are in <laughs> fancy dress. Well, I'm being unkind there, actually. Different Very traditional fair. Just a different meaning of the word fancy. Have you got 161? Fancy that, another 180 from Michael Smith. That's now 53. four in the final already for him, six in total. 15 in the tournament for the Bully Boy. Getting a lot of maximums in a game here. There's a bit of a poison chalice. Just ask Jose de Souza. he got seven. Humphreys had none. And Jose lost. Yeah, handsomely as well. That treble 19 has been really kind to Aspinall. That's a great shot, and just for a second, and that little flick of his forehead with the back of his hand was because that second dart was perilously close to busting the one away. And another maximum for Bully Boy, that's five. This final, I really do hope, is as good as their final from Las Vegas. 108 check out for Nathan Aspinall, responded to with a 180 from Michael Smith. Every time he gets oh, that fourth treble, you just think, oh, he's going to get one. Yeah, that is an enormous amount of 180s already in this final. 78. The max tally 
outrunning the leg tally so far. We did break the maximum record for a tournament at Kiel. They're going to be the third champion of this tournament as well. Humphreys and Van Gerwen, the two previous champions of this event. Could be Michael Smith, because he's now 4-2 ahead. And he has eventually found the halfway point after a little bit of a stutter. Yeah, a couple of winning legs of 12 and that 11 data only missed one dart at double. Sitso's first six, Aspinall though is two from two. All of them coming in the opening leg. 140. Clinical is how I would say the last four legs have gone. And even so, when you look at leg two, two attempts and one attempt for Michael Smith in the first one, the only Trouble on the doubles came from Aspinall in leg one. Yeah, and they've been combination finishers, those flawless four 85. of 89, 74, 108, and the 56 for the 11 data from Michael there. Well, he's left double two and double 17 after a maximum in this game. What else can he leave with a top visit? Oh, this is great. Speaking of top visits. Ooh. I said earlier on in the evening to Dan Dawson that Aspinall is a premier counter. He doesn't make tactical errors. 80. He's, He's going to stay on the 19th for 138. Everybody's favourite finish. And the most popular route for it right now. 58. Well, he's not too happy with the return there, Nathan Aspinall, because he knows if he misses a treble, it's another 180 to leave a double. He knows he's under pressure, and he knows if he misses the treble, he's going to be blocked. Yeah, it's conventional leaving double eight, though. Look at this. What does he do with this dart? Where can he place it? Good shot, that. 40. Unfortunately, that one Michael, you require isn't 16. what he wanted, and Smith is just relentless. He's and it's doubling in this game, my Michael word, Smith. my word! Hey, Blake, Five hits from first. six! Game on. This is extraordinary, well, an extraordinary talent. It's 180s for show and doubles for Doe from Michael Smith. He's doing it all, he's putting it all together. And he's yeah. hit half a dozen maximums in this match. Uh, Oh, nearly all of them, if not all of them, either the first visit of a leg or two leave a double. Yeah, if you look at his average compared to his first nine, it's almost identical. And one of the reasons for that... 58. It's just decreased a little bit. But one of the reasons for that is because he's had so many massive visits in visit four. 100. I would adore looking at his fourth visit average in this match. It would be massive. But he's... Only now, 58. three legs away from taking the title. Although Aspinall is in a good position to break here, and we know that he's not the kind of player who 97. will roll over. When you start feeling pressure, it's like a, a ticking clock that you can hear in a silent room. And when... 80. Is that another one he's got on the floor? That's three in the final, isn't it? 170. Yeah, that ticking clock is just getting louder and louder and louder. But this is maybe a leg 58. that he can canter to, but Smith might get another max to leave a double. Yeah, this is what he does. This is when he does it. Not this time. Nathan, for once, allowed to breathe. 56. Nathan, you he caught himself napping a little bit there, Michael, because he thought, well, I, I can't go for another 19. Double 16. Okay, really needed as well. Nathan Back within two. But his primary Nathan, mission Nathan, at this juncture in the trenches, stop Michael from getting within two. Try and keep him at bay. 57. Still, the fabulous finishing goes on. Is Aspinall going to pay for that start where he gave 
Smith the impetus with that bonus first leg. Yeah, the bonus first leg, it became three. 96. But then combinations finishers of 74, 108 and 112. We've seen Aspinall get back within two and now throw in to close the gap to one once again. All of his winning legs, exactly 15 darts. 100. You can't leave a finish from 3 4 8, so you're hoping that you get three visits. He might not, because that is another 180, a seventh to leave 130 for another three leg cushion. One hundred. Probably well, needed a second treble to apply any real kind of pressure. That gets him a dart at something. And it is the ball. Game and it's in the ball. Over. And not for the first time in this final. Nathan Aspinall. But he just has to admire this barrage of brilliance in Bavaria from Michael Smith. Game on. There you see the respect, the sportsmanship between the pair. Two out of two on the ball, six out of seven all told on doubles. Pretty hard to beat a man doing that. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Who do you think he is? Peter Manley. <laughs> Aspinall will not give up, though. Leg 10 starts with a maximum. He's got three, and that's been made to look really pedestrian by a world champion who is playing almost desperately to get a ranking title before the summer hits. Yeah, well, that last leg was his third that he's completed in four visits to the hockey. He is on a finish first to try and do that again here in the most sensational style. And by the way, if he hits the two treble twenties, we know the bullseye is going in. 91, really? 170. Not on this occasion, for the player who has won 60, European Nathan tour Uruguay events in three 90. different countries, the Netherlands, in Gibraltar and in Germany, on three occasions. How good's Nathan on the ball? 65. Not quite up to Smith's standard. Well, if Smith misses the 60, he might stay for double 15. Double 15. Nine That's the worst start he's thrown in the entire match. Nathan, you require. I think he's puzzled 25. at just missing a double, but missing it by that margin has really bemused Bully Boy. Can't miss. Doesn't he's miss. Nathan Aspen. Time is running out, Nathan. Eleven you leg, must Nathan hold your throw first. here. You cannot Game give on. him it back. Now, there is a subplot to this final, and a lot of the time, Murph, we talk about exterior 96. pressures. Maybe these guys know about this, maybe they don't. We're talking months in advance, admittedly, but you may not be aware that both of these players in the final are not currently in a seeding position for the final three European Tour events of the season because of the way the rankings work. Whoever wins this will bolster their seeding position for the next 12 months. And it will change for one of them. Is the game going to change? Nathan Aspinall has been playing catch up throughout. He is the ultimate street fighter in this sport. And he is swinging at the moment. Yeah, you make a good point there, actually, because if you were to compare a dark player to a UFC fighter, I'd say Nathan Aspinall is Michael Bisping. He might be a little bit broken, but boy, can he swing. Taking his time, approaching the hockey. He's going to get a dart. Avoids the ball, double five. 125. Wasn't defensive on that Michael double five either, because he knows that Smith could take this. And he's not going to. 
This is shades Nathan, of leg five. one. And he hit the ball again just for good measure. But it's the five in bits for Nathan Aspinall. He's and he hits. Nathan Aspinall. And he gets to five. To and back first. within one. This final is delivering. 96. I'll say something a bit more than that, actually. The semi-finals and the final have been extraordinary. Very befitting a tournament of this grandeur. One of the younger European tour events, but is fast becoming a mainstay here in Munich. Well, just looking at those darts per leg, they're after the first two legs, every single one. In five digits or fewer. Largely because many of them have included at least one maximum. Correct. It goes a long way. 11 in the final. We may not be finished. Eight of those to this man. 140. I was going to say nine, but I didn't want to say no in German. Well, it'll be 19s now for the ass, who needs a couple to leave a finish. 133. Michael, you're quite 85. Took out 89 on the ball in leg three. 65. No, even you're decided you're not to bother with it. With Aspinall on 170. Oh, this would be seismic. It's for a break of throw as well. I mean, he's still got a dart at double Michael Smith by hunting down a treble. 89. Michael, he returns for 20. his favourite double. Now he wants double five. Game short of play, wow, that was confident. There was a little bit of posturing at the end of that double five as well. As he goes within one leg of the title. Aspinall may be sick of the sight of Michael Smith yeah, by was, the end of this. It was looking like the doubles were starting to desert him a little bit. That's why it got that reaction from Nathan Aspinall, because he would have felt like that one kind of fell in. It seems ridiculous to say that a man who's still on a checkout percentage of more than 58% 100. is on the slide, but that's how good he was in the first half of this match. On the outer ring and the little inner ring as well. Have you just given the bullseye a new nickname? The little inner ring? No, not really. I think he might have just done that inadvertently. Well, Smith, 140. with a 2-6-1 leave after six, he's in a good waiting position. One mistake from Aspinall, and he could be in. It's and the man who was fourth 90. on the all-time list in the European Tour, that's not going to change. If he gets to six titles, he will inch closer to Peter Wright in third, who has seven. 100. He's actually now one of only three players to have played in 12 or more finals on the Euro Tour, Wright and Van Gerwen the other two. It's remarkable when you consider Price has won eight. He's only played in nine. This one could be pretty much Ten. over. That's the mistake that Smith wanted. And that's Why exactly what the Asp did not want. 130, I think sir. Aspinall knows that the end is nigh. He can't leave someone who likes 12s, tops and 10s on one of those shots. Smith was in a last leg decider with Danny Knopper last summer when he won in the Netherlands. 65. Doesn't look like he's going to need a last leg decider here in Munich. It's double 12. Okay. Shot. And Michael Smith is the master in Munich. The world champion stands at the top of the podium.